The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need... Huh. Wait, is that... Oh no, Hapasia! Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something... Let me see what's written in the letter first. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just, huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. <sighs> yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gundarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time she drew five lines. And by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, needless to say, Hapasia's been through worse, but we should still get to her as... I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon... Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay? Let's find out. Here. So, how do you feel? Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a... But, wait! How'd you know that he'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the Withering Zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the Dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. <laughs> Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. My forefathers were shown much favor by greater lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermensoul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermensoul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit Borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermensoul. Just... Uh Will she really help us? That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for a moment.
Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia. And also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. No. I should... Hypatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Anyway, please take good care of Hypatia. I'll go prepare Kale's medicine now. Rest assured. Is it time for me to join you? Hello? Hapatia? Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. Patia, are you... Uh, uh, so hungry. <coughs> There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water for... Huh? Wait. Why does it look super foggy outside all of it?
is getting weirder by the minute. Oh, hey, what's the matter? You don't look so good.
Solidify! Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Uh, are you okay? That anyways, we can talk about... Whoa, wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. Who's there? Tainari, is that you? Uh... Huh? It's okay! You can relax, Hapatia! Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water!
I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh? So you're able to see them too? Wait, hold on a second, Traveler. You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. I myself had a sim- You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the- In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way... <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. All right, we're up, Traveler! Mm, so? since we already watched it. Oh, it smells amazing. Are you already finished? Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first it took me nearly three years before you should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with ermin soul as you have so why does this incense allow people to connect to the ingredients used to make spirit born eel primarily consist of plants created by greater lord ruka devata these special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermensoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the Earth. Naturally, anyone who can establish a connection with Ermensoul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Hmm, makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was he sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to his body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. 
Hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of spirit born ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit born ale should no longer trigger such reactions. <sighs> Well, that... I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches... Whoa! You're really serious about this whole... <laughs> As a member of the Ritaoist Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection, which is why I must turn... If only my perception wasn't... I am currently in the stage of training known as... Sages have said that Ermin's soul contains... That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will become... Oh, so knowledge from Ermin's soul can be super dangerous! Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight. And dead silent without even... However, I've been feeling better as of late. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the god of... What's so strange? It doesn't sound so out of... Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Huh. Is that true? Yes. Well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality. But that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Yes. If one struggles with anxieties... Those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the god of wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recalled the feet back then. I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be, but I was free of fear. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things he saw when he connected with Erminsul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. Oh, hmm. World forget me. Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life. I might have some more answers for you. Uh, if you two are ever in the area again... Please be sure to come and see me. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Now that we know Hapasia is alright, and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gundarvaville. Heading out, I see? If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Even though that little neighbor of mine was able to induce a state of dreaming, the end of your dream seemed quite terrifying. Per not to worry, though. As someone from Sumeru who cannot dream, I needn't ever... Heading out, I see? If there's anything else... Sumeru researchers use... Unfortunately, I cannot help you understand your dream. I hope that I'll be able to ascend past Satyavada life. Heading out, I see? If there's anything... I've heard local children here in the rainforest speaking of fairy-like creatures. Perhaps this is because I had a very strict upbringing. And speaking of my little neighbor, I think they can somehow sense when Tainari is coming to visit. I've noticed on several occasions that as they're playing under the trees... Hmm, perhaps I should ask Tainari about this the next time I... Heading out, I see? If there's anything... Take care. Do remember to come visit any time you're...
Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the... Pr As Sage Kaje clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermin's... Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. L Sage Kaje, I am truly honored. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Harabatat have... <laughs> <laughs> well, it turns out... I see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper... He would come here and berate me personally. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort, and now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kash? You'll know once you've arrived in... And how long will I be required to stay? Uh, there's no definite answer as of now. Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Gondarbaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Ah, uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. It's nothing. Some people from the Academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapesh? It was quite the eventful trip. But the main thing is that she's safe and sound. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right. We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice. Any idea on how we can find her? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm. Let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can get... Oh? What? It's called an Akasha Turp, needless to say. This device... Great! Next up, Sumeru City! That's right! Tainari, we have something... Yes, she's doing much better. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you all. Thanks, Tainari. Farewell. Ah, I've been waiting for you two. I, uh, well, uh, <sighs> never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. And, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition. Thank you. That means a lot. Oh? What is- It's my recipe for pita pockets. Yay! Thanks, Kale. Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gondarvaville. Well then, I, trainee forest ranger Kale, bid you both farewell.
entered the city, something on their heads lit up. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Oh, yeah, that's right. But how did you know that? Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. But no need to worry, that won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved Greater Lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy, a treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. As long as you are within Sumeru's borders, you may use an Akasha terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities such as Sumeru City and Port Ormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha terminals. <laughs> it kind of looks like a leaf. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty god bless us with their voice of wisdom. Oh, says this little doodad lets you access knowledge. <clears throat> May the mighty god bless... <gasps> Whoa. Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is concentrate... Exactly. That is the power of the Akasha. And with that, let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Okay, now that we're in... Hmm. <gasps> okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Oh, come on! Ugh, ugh, Baimon's brain is exhausted. Smart idea! But what are you going to ask it? That's me. Great! You see, Tainari sent us here and... What? Tainari? I... Please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... Here! This is a letter from Tainari! Oh, let me see. Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for... We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusin... You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Ah, uh, this isn't exactly my air... Hmm. Sorry, the Akasha... What? You too? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Soros. Huh. Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Aw, but then what can we do? <laughs> no need to worry, just... And besides, you two... In this world, there will all... Take me, for example. Uh... Don't mention it. 
if you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great sages, come find me. Hey, come on. This is a survival skill at the ac- Oh, Paimon's expert. So what do we do now? Even if we- Huh? Like who? Oh, you're right! Catherine! The Adventurer's Guild has its own intel network. Astra Abyssosk. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. Catherine, we need your help with- Understood. The Adventurer's Guild is always- We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. I apologize. But I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Aww, another dead end. Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Please do not worry. I in Sumeru, the Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Eremites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru. An Eremite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Corps of Thirty? Supposedly. They are named as such because their ranks numbered 30 at their inception. Asphant, an advisor with the Corps of Thirty, maintains good relations with the Adventurer's Guild. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Core of Thirty's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. All right! Off to the Citadel of Regzar we go! Ad Astra... Welcome. The Adventurer's Guild told me to expect you to. It's nice to meet you, Asfond. We'd like to ask you about something. I see. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Ha! <laughs> It's true that the Aramites network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Wait, seriously? That's it? <laughs> Afraid so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. Oh? Why's that? 
Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late, greater Lord Rugadavada. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with Greater Lord Rukadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. Really? <laughs> but who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. All right. Well, <laughs> no problem. <sighs> Seems Osfond was right about most people's attitudes here. Not only are they not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, If the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. We've been asking for information non-stop ever since we got to Sumeru. But the harder we try, the more helpless everything seems. Isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. Whoa, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in hopes that she would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay, and then... And then... The Calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun, and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. Yeah, thanks for the story! Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy and... <laughs> uh, in a way, it seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Of course. Is the... Uh... Um, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh... Hey, wait! Uh, what the heck just happened? It looks like they're searching for someone. Hmm. Do, uh, the stinks! Uh, let's see if we can get rid of... Hey, have you two seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? We're looking for her. Uh... Did she have bandages wrapped? Yes, that's her. Uh, yeah, she went that way. Quick, after her. <laughs> that should keep him busy. You might have been long gone. Oh, it's you two. Oh, you start. You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you. Uh, really? Oh, thank you so much. Uh oh. Looks like there are some come. Huh? 
More of them? Then what are we standing here for? No, wait, I... Uh, my body isn't in the best shape. Uh, it's okay, it sounds good. All right, let's move out. Just take my word for it. We made it. Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, stand down, Dia. My lady, who are these two? They're travelers that I met on the street. I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. Wait a sec. Who the heck are you? And why are you? I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard. My lady, let's get going. And if I were... It'd be easier for the... Hey! Didn't your Zod already... Stay out of this. Sorry, my lady. Even the... How much? Wait, what? How much Mora do I have to pay you? My lady, this isn't about Mora. I don't... That's why I'm here looking for you. And knowing your health, care... No, you're wrong. And they know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at... And every time I bring this up, they just change... <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy because she saved me. This is my life and my last... My lady, are you sure what you're doing? Yes, I'm <sighs> fine. I won't... But let me make something very clear. Thank you, Dia. Uh, don't worry. Today's little excursion... Since this definitely won't be... So, I'll let you hire me. Okay, Dia. Yay! Looks like they've reached an undersea... <sighs> I'm fine. <sighs> my lady, stop. I'm sorry for worrying you too. Sure! After you rest up! Ha! Well, if it isn't Dia, word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. Nah, you get used to it. How about a minute? You got it! Huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayan? Thank you, sir, but, uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. Yeah, we're already super grateful for everything you... How about our coconut charcoal cakes? They're our signature snack, and they run cheap. Look, other customers over there are eating some now. Uh, they look kind of burnt and dry. Uh, bye, my will pass. Hey, come on! Paimon has personal preferences too, you know. Dunyarzad. We asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually... Huh? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even my younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Dunyarzad. Don't be scared. You don't have to cry. <laughs> Who are um, how do I explain this? Really? Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder. That you- Wow, you really do know everything. Junior is odd. Is there anything you want? Want? Not really. 
I can't go anywhere. Huh? But aren't you a child? Can, uh, can you make my illness go away? Oh. I'm sorry. Then, can you... After that, the voice said, Okay, although my body was beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Once I finally made it, but I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. Before that, I had never heard of Tafat. Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. I've been hoping for... What's the Subzeru's festival? It's Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birthday, which was the day that she was found by the sages. It's actually an old holiday that a rich... I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to some... But because of the academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest. The academia actively participate. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birth as confirmation of greater... Aww. It is. It's absolutely sure the Greater Lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't Lesser Lord Kusan- <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in- I know that people over- But recently, I made a friend there who also follows- I gave her my saving- Hold on, my lady. Does this friend happen to be Nilu? The one who sends flowers to the- Yes, that's her. Hmm, I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like she was- Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much more up prepared. So I had ne I've agreed with Nilu to- Sure, that's quite the trip, though. No, that would be too- You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long- But of course, and Nilu will be- Sorry I'm late, me. Oh, Dunyarzad. It was... Uh-oh. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught. If you could say that, uh, but everything... <laughs> uh, not completely. Oh. Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest... So your followers from another land? That's wonderful. You two absolutely mustn't miss the Subzeris... By the way, Dunyarzad, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. You're very welcome. Uh, probably? Every item I sell here comes with its own fascinating story. Wow! Not bad. <laughs> The last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. The stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. We reported it to the Academia many- Oh, probably because it was the theater asking. The Academia looks down on performers. We can't let that happen, though. Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to- The stage is going to be- And I can't wait to see you on the stage. <laughs> 
It's Nilu. What are you gonna be doing? She'll be dancing the dance of Junior Zod. I only told them about the greater. Okay. And I'll tell you too about how this holiday came to be. According to legend, the Sabzerus Festival was originally the goddess of flowers a long, long time ago. On one of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the Greater Lord started singing. So the goddess of flowers began to... As she danced upon the... Those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. Well, of course they did. When people mention the gods, they always think of the Archon War. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition of dance. Though we're just tiny people compared to the Divine, we still have to do our best to make sure- Nilu, you of all people will definitely be able- <laughs> They symbolize the god- Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Patisar- Thinking about the goddess of- If my stage were anything- <sighs> So? All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers- Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea! with enjoying a festival. Besides, it's lunch. <laughs> so how about we all attend the Subzerus Festival together? Junior Zod, everyone at the Grand Bazaar loves... In that case, we'll take a look around. The treasure is so Whoa! Did you know that the sub... Ah, then as a child, I my grant the Subzeru. Huh. huh. Revamping the stage for the fe I don't know much about the gr Oh, and the perfume sold around here. Uh, I mean <clears throat> Things are really shaping up, and there's a don't be fooled into thinking that Sumeru City has the best of everything. And when it comes to musicians. In work as on the stage, one must act with gumption. Nilu, your outfit looks. <laughs> wow. Uh huh. Sewing is a. F <laughs> of course. Adventurous Guild doesn't require any complicated functions, but saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty monotonous. Like watching the same Fontaine movie day after day. But take you two for example. You travel across to Vat to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. Well, we enjoy traveling across to Vat and all that, but we're mainly looking for clues about his sister. Yes. You should keep searching. Sometimes the answers we're looking for aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Huh. Haven't we heard someone say something pretty similar recently? Uh. No, not particularly. I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent atmosphere here. If festivals bring happiness to everyone... It looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. All right, we'll see you next time at the Adventures Guild. Oh, by the way, thanks for connecting us with the Aramites. We've already made some great friends in Sumeru City thanks to you. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. You've already been blessed by the element of Dendro after all. Hmm. There's some... 
Hey, traveler. Fine. Oh, hey, dear. What? I've got something to tell you. My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet lesser Lord Kus. Are you serious? It might not necessarily pan out, so don't. Uh, my lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. 